Investigators uncovered a dangerous scam targeting the elderly across the country. It was run right here in Indianapolis. They say the group scared victims into sending thousands of dollars in the mail. We talk about this type of fraud often, but we rarely see anyone get arrested for the crime. CBS 4's Jill Glavin breaks down how it worked and why you should talk to your family members about it right away. She was very upset. Deborah Hartley recently got a call from an 88 year old relative claiming her son was in trouble. He was apparently crying and very upset and didn't want to have her tell his parents. They'd given her a phone number to call um, to reach an attorney to send money. Hartley quickly confirmed her son was safe at school. Luckily, her relative had written down the wrong phone number and called her instead. With the state that she was in at the time, I think it's quite possible that she would have wired money, would have sent money. It is very readily believable if you have the right person. Acting U.S. Attorney John Childress and his team recently charged five people in connection with this type of so-called grandparent or relative scam. Investigators caught them here in Indianapolis, picking up large amounts of cash off the porches of empty homes. They had done it in 10 different cities in five different states. We think very close to about $350,000. According to this complaint, one victim from Crawfordsville sent two packages of cash, totaling more than $12,000. Some of the victims were also informed that there was a gag order. And by that, the, the uh, criminals meant don't tell anybody. They will check into things like uh, Ancestry.com to see, you know, family members so they know who family members' names are, those types of things. Better Business Bureau CEO Tim Maniscalco confirmed it is very unusual to see this type of scam happening in our backyard. Most of the time, criminals operate overseas. Hartley does not know who targeted her relative, but she and Childress offered the same advice for all of us. Get up and go talk to or go call your loved ones, especially if they're elderly. First thing I did after I calmed down and realized that everything was fine, I actually called my parents and said, hey, if you get this kind of phone call, don't fall for this. The five people charged in this case were not from Indiana. The complaint alleges they were part of a larger enterprise. Authorities in Canada have launched an investigation. For more tips on how to spot this scam and where to report it, go to this story on our website. Jill Glavin, CBS4 News. If you have a story you'd like the Problem Solvers team to investigate, call the phone number or email the address right there on your screen. To see other CBS4 Problem Solvers reports, visit cbs4indy.com and click on the Problem Solvers tab.